Okay, in this video, we are going to walk you through step by step how to set up your blog account through Weebly for your World Problem Solvers Project. Okay, so if you already have a Weebly, some of these steps at the beginning will not be the same for you if you already have like a personal Weebly. Um, however, if it's attached to your personal Gmail, uh, we're not going to do that for this case. So we're going to be using our Heath accounts, okay? So first, you're going to either in the URL bar up here or in the search bar for Google, you're going to go to Weebly login. And either, doesn't matter, it'll take you to the same place. And it's going to prompt you to log in. So we're going to do login with Google down here, and we're going to log in with our Heath account. So I'm going to pretend to be Miss Thomas. So type in your email. You're going to type in your password. And it will log you in. Looks like you're creating a new account. Oh, it's because I clicked login. So I need to sign up. Hmm. Weird. It didn't prompt me to do that. So I'll, first name, last name, and then your Heath Gmail. United States. Sign up for free. If it prompts you to save your password, you can. So then it's gonna ask you what kind of website. We are not doing the online store. You will not be making purchases. So we're gonna do the, I just need a website. So click on that. And here we go. Here's sort of our editing interface. So you'll see up in the right hand corner, it says, Upgrade and publish. We're not going to upgrade because that costs money. Publish is what you're going to do once you're finished. So we're not going to do that yet. And we're loading. Okay. So then this is where you have some choice. Um, we are going to click on blog here because that's going to be most suited to our needs since we are making a blog. So click on blog and then there are some options for you to choose from. Um, so when I did this on a different, maybe it was a different browser, I did not see this option for view more themes, but I'm on Google Chrome right now, which is what you all will be on on your Chromebook. So you can, if it lets you view more themes, you can, but you're going to pick one of these. Um, it's totally up to you. So um, like if you pick this one, obviously vegetables are going to be in the background. So if your topic has anything to do with food or sustainability, or veganism, whatever, um, you could pick that one. If yours has anything to do with, you know, scenery, mountains, whatever, you could pick that one. Uh, view more themes. Let's see. What would Miss Thomas like? Probably not. That's more for like a wedding. Um, ooh, this is cute. I like the jellyfish. This one's super, like, minimalist. Okay, anyway. Uh, I don't know if you can, like, change the images. Probably. Let's do this one just to explore that. So I'm going to click this one. And once you click it, it gives you a theme preview. Ooh, I'm loving that. Okay, so close. We'll just close out of it. Start editing. So right now, like, I can only, I'm, like, in viewer mode. So I'm viewing what they already have. Um, so if I want to start editing, which we do want to do, we're going to click start edit. So you want to be on your home page, whatever yours looks like. Start editing. This is where we have some more choice. So we need to select our domain name. Everyone's needs to be the same. So it'll be www. Then we're going to do World Problem Solvers Initials, so WPS. Everybody has to have WPS, lowercase. Then a dash, a hyphen, not an underscore, so not that, 
dash. And then whatever your Heath username is. So Miss Thomas's is Jesse Thomas. Mine would be A Shoe. Um, if you Miss Boyden's would be L Boyden, and sometimes there's a number included, so you can include the number if there is one, like if it was L Boyden one. Um, so just your username, and then I think that was it, right? Oh yeah. So then you click search. And it tells you if there's any available ones. So hopefully your yours is available because we added the WPS for World Problem Solvers. You have to click on the one down here that says subdomain because you do not want to uh, pay for this. So all of these, it says included with a free one-year plan. We're not doing that because eventually then they'll charge you. So we are going to always choose the bottom one. Okay, it says free with Weebly branding on your website. That just means that Weebly will be, there's, there will be like a watermark. And I think Weebly then, you can see down here, Weebly got added to the URL, whereas the other ones it's not. So that's okay. We're going to do the free version. So choose. Um, awesome. You have successfully set up your subdomain name after you publish your website. That is where it will be available. So yours should say WPS dash whatever your Heath username is dot Weebly dot com. So you click done, now you can edit. So um, these are all editable things. So in the build mode, that's where you can make edits. Uh, your pages show you what pages you have. So you can see there's kind of a taskbar here. They also, in the viewer mode, they show up here. So if you want to like rename them, you can. Um, but we're gonna set some guidelines for you all. So everybody must have a home page. It must be titled home, H-O-M-E, okay? Um, the about you are going to change, so the second tab, whatever yours looks like, you're going to change to blog, B-L-O-G, okay? So once you do that, it should, and you like click out of it, it should automatically update. So you'll see that used to say about, now it says blog. We do not need a contact, um, but we do need a resources page because you are going to copy down every single website link that you use, including images. Okay, we're not going to make you formally cite it. You can just copy over the URLs of the websites that you use for your project, but you do need to keep a running list. So once again, watch this contact here will change as soon as I click out. It changed to resources. So we've got home, blog, resources. Um, before resources, so we need to add a page here. This plus sign means add a page. We're going to add a standard page, um, and we need to title it podcast. Because remember that one of your requirements is a podcast. Um, but I don't like where that is. So let's see. Oh, if you highlight kind of with your cursor, you'll see these three little dots show up. And then you can click and drag it. So then you'll see it automatically updates over here as well. So home should be first, then blog, then podcast. Then we need propaganda. So standard page, propaganda. And I want that to be before resource, resources should be last. See that it auto updates. Um, home blog podcast propaganda. Oh, and then duh, uh, new page, um, multi step plan, multi step. Solution plan, let's call it that. I know it's a lot of words. Multi-step solution plan. And that should go before the resources. I think that follows the list of the tasks, the order. So home first, then your blog second, podcast third, propaganda fourth, multi-step solution plan fourth, and resources fifth. If you want to add an, an additional uh, page or pages for whatever reason, if you're kind of going above and beyond, that is totally okay. Uh, maybe just run it by one of us first so that we can check you off and make sure that that kind of works for you. Okay. Um, each page you'll see when you scroll down, you can add images. Um, so when we're on the home page, go back to home, you'll know that you're on the home page because this will be like a different color or bolded, and this will be highlighted here on your taskbar. So, like, you can 
when I click on that, you can replace the image. So like if you have images saved, let's say you're doing hurricanes, uh, the current hurricane issues that are going on, you could replace this image with an image you have saved to your Google Drive of, you know, a hurricane or a map or something like that. Um, like you can even change its alignment, its spacing, you can add a caption, you can add a border, like there's all kinds of fun stuff you can play around with. Um, on the blogs, you remember, this is where you're going to have all of your blog posts. All of your blog posts are going to go here, whether you have the 10 blog posts or, or whatever. Um, so you are going to need to add text. So you'll see here, most of you, it might be in Latin, depending on your, uh, whatever, your setup. But this is where you're going to basically do your blog post. So it says, edit this text. So you, once you highlight that, you have this text editor that shows up. Um, there's all kinds of things that you can do. So this would be like blog post number one, text, yada, 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 yada. You could change the image. Um, then when you go to like add a new blog, so then we wanna go back to build, okay? Because like, as you can see, there's only one here. So that's where you would add a new section. I think if you just maybe, oh, there we go. You click and drag it. And then drag elements. These are all your elements over here. Then you can you know, drag another picture for your blog post. Um, you could drag another text box for your for that new blog post, um, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see it kind of like auto formats for you, which is super nice. So you're probably like, oh my gosh, this is so much information. Yeah, it is. There's a lot you can do. Um, so it's going to just kind of be trial and error and uh, using your time to mess around with it and get it to appear the way that you would like. Um, and we're here to help. Okay, so for now, we're just setting it up. We should have a home page, a blog page, a podcast page, propaganda, multi-step solution plan, and resources. And then my site, I don't know if you can change that. I change that oh yeah you so for my format I can just type miss Thomas's world problem solvers blog obviously we want to make that more creative but for now that's where we're at and it should like auto save um I believe I'm gonna try this if I open up a new tab I'm gonna close out fingers crossed that it saves weebly Hopefully it's saved. Miss Thomas is texting me. Okay, bye. Okay, see, it auto-saved. So that's awesome. You do not have to click publish. Okie dokie. Um, if you have individual questions, we can answer them. Enjoy.